technology and technology talent transcends narrow geography because people live where they want to live. The skyline is about to change in Crystal City, Virginia. It sits across from I-295 near the Pentagon and a bridge away from Washington, D.C. Amazon has a footprint in the region. Maryland has a distribution facility, and Amazon owner Jeff Bezos owns the Washington Post. What seemed to turn the tide to the site, according to Amazon, was the talent pool. We now know that the tech talent workforce that we have in this region, that for many years has been largely devoted to government services, is actually a suitable workforce to attract one of the leading tech employers in the world. So let's go through the numbers. Amazon decided to name three secondary locations. Initially, all 50,000 workers were to be in one site. Now that's split. They also decided to name a operations facility in Nashville. The average salary, $50,000. Governor Hogan put out a statement congratulating Amazon. He says he looks forward to working closely with Governor Northam and Mayor Bowser to welcome Amazon and meet the opportunities that lie ahead. This is a very important moment, I, and it's not a moment without stress. You know, things like uh, displacement, housing is going to be a big issue, transportation. It's not a situation that doesn't have enormous costs involved, but this is a moment that 10 years from now, I'm absolutely convinced we're going to look back and say this is the moment when this region became seen as something other than the place where government happens. Amazon will join a collection of high-tech companies who call the DMV home. There has even been a suggestion of a name change by real estate agents. Can you say National Landing? In Alexandria, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.